Bazemore has it. And Sims got it. We're not going anywhere with Bazemore. <laughs> I mean, he is right in your jersey. Bazemore has been outstanding. Oh, by the way, he has six blocks in the game. Six blocks. Yeah. He has steals. He's disruptive. Bazemore went up and got it, the defensive specialist. But Bazemore, my goodness, he is so disruptive. He's got that long, long reach. You think reach. you have him cleared, but you don't. R.C. Davis for Warriors TV with Kent Bazemore, 6'5", lefty swingman out of Old Dominion where you were all everything in the Colonial. Welcome to the Warriors. Uh, glad to be here, man. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, glad the Warriors gave me the opportunity to showcase my skills in the summer league and I uh, took the advantage of it. You had multiple workouts here, not to mention playing for the summer league team. You had to know that, had to have a feeling they were interested. A uh, great group of guys, you know, I first got here, Coach Pete Myers was running the, uh, running the drills. You know, he always said, you know, one thing we can't coach is effort, you know, so. I, you know, I heard that my whole career back at Old Dominion, even in high school. So all I knew was to play hard, and you know, it's kind of love at first sight. Well, you do play hard. Defense is your calling card. Is that what you think is going to help you stick in the league? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it's a lot of great scorers in this league, especially on this team. You know, they didn't bring me here to score 20 points at all. You know, they they brought me here to stop someone. You know, that's that's why I hang my hat on to stop with someone. Uh, you got great scores like Clay Thompson. You see him light up in Vegas. You got Steph Curry. You know. You no know, Charles Jenkins can put it in the basket. So, I mean, my job is, you know, saying, playing the simple, just uh, stop the other guy. But you can score, too. You're not just a defender. You're nice from the uh, elbow wing, and you also can create off the dribble I saw this summer. Yeah, you know, it's been working on my game. You know, I first got to Old Dominion. was a raw kid, red-shirted, you know, 170 pounds, couldn't dribble, <laughs> shot all over the place, you know. But I stayed with it, you know, worked with a couple of guys at the Old Dominion and uh, just worked on my game. And, you know, it's all about confidence. At the end of the day, rise level hitting the shot. Talk about your coach there with the Monarchs, Blaine Taylor, and talk about his influence on your game. Oh, uh, great guy. He know he always knew how to get out of my skin. You know, when I was like, you know, kind of, you know, jogging around. You know, he would say something to get me going. You know, uh, you can't do this at the next level. Type stuff like that. You know, he always stayed on me, made me a better person on and off the court. Uh, great guy. You know, knew his X's and O's. You know, always knew, told me where to be. You know, so I me, mean, loving to death. How was the pre-draft process? All the workouts and the measurements. I mean, you're 6'5", you have a, nearly a seven foot wingspan. That's crazy. Oh uh, yeah, the uh, pre-draft, you know, it was real, it was real, you know, important for me, you know, because I wasn't going to the pre-draft camp in Chicago. So when I did test out for teams and I had to test, you know, be one of the best in every, inside every workout. Uh, something I hung my head on as well. At Old Dominion, we had competition, you know, see we had a fast three quarter court sprint, jump the highs, those type of things. It's just, just part of me being a competitor, you know, I wanted to win every drill. This summer you got to play for Oklahoma City in Orlando too, so a lot of teams got a chance to look at you. That must have been quite a benefit. Yeah, I actually uh, didn't play down there. I got injured right before we went out, hyperextended my knee. Uh, so I set out the whole th time, but I got to watch, you know, and uh, you know, pick up on the speed of the game, you know, different tendencies, certain guys, you know, uh, get to watch guys like Perry Jones, you know, be a teammate of his for a while, you know, great guys. Uh, and then coming out here, you know, hanging out with Draymond Green, you know, Harrison Barnes guys you watch, you know, that that you was drooling to play against in college, or, you know, uh, eventually being teammates is, you know, it's always a great thing. And you show you're right there with those guys. And those guys, you know, they have a spot on this roster. They yeah. were drafted. You didn't have that luxury. You had to come in and put in work. Exactly. Uh, you know, once you get an opportunity, you have to take the uh, advantage of it. You know, I got my foot in the door and then I just wanted to play as hard as I could, you know. Sometimes running up and down that court in Vegas, I wanted to just, you know, pass out. Well, I was like, hey, I got to. I got to get a job, man. So, you know, I just stay with it. Back to your defense in college, you won the Lefty Drizel Award for the nation's top defender. That's quite an honor with 300 some basketball teams. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, Anthony Davis won it this year, so I guess it's a pretty good award. <laughs> uh, it just goes to show, you know, uh, it's the effort thing, you know, it's a pride thing. You know, you, you want a guy to see you, you know, 10, 15 years down the road, and, you know, tell his little kids, like, that guy was a heck of a defender. He made my life miserable, you know. So, it's the one thing I like to do. There's tons of scores in this league, but when you're, the buzzwords are hard worker and high motor, those are buzzwords that are going to get you noticed. Exactly. Uh, like I said, a lot of guys are scoring in this league, but you look at guys like Bruce Bourne, Shane Battier, you know, Tabo Stavalosa, you know, those guys are around, they're going to be around for a long time because you need those hard hat guys, you know, to help you win. So, I mean, that's, that's going to be my lot in this league, and hopefully I can stay here for a while. You're working out with John Lucas down in Houston, a lot of NBA guys down there. Nice to be able to pick a guy's brain that's been in the league for so long and coached and mentored? 
Yeah, it, it was definitely a, a great, you know, experience for me going out there in, in the heat. You know, it was hot, it was hot as I don't know what down there, no air conditioning in the gym, <laughs> uh, slippery floor, you know, so you had every element going against you, you know, so when you came to other places like Golden State, who has one of the, the greatest court surfaces, you know, especially compared to Houston, it was a lot easier, you know, uh, air conditioned gym, you know, so you could breathe <laughs> a little bit easier, you know, so once you got tired, a little bit windy, you know, your body said, all right, I was just down in Houston, 100 degree gym, this is nothing. Some personal stuff. Now you're a junior, are you close with your father? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I love him to death. He taught me, you know, how to change oil when I was eight years old, how to mow the lawn, how to wash, you know, take out the trash, those type of things. Uh, great guy. He was always, you know, my biggest critic. You know, in high school, I have sure. like a 30-point game. You're like, well, you missed two layups, four free throws. You should have had 40 points. You know, it's like, well, right. you know, it's a great guy. You have two degrees from Old Dominion? Uh, yes, sir. Human Services and Criminal Justice, by far, you know, one of my biggest accomplishments. Uh, a lot of a lot of athletes, you know, don't don't even get a degree. You know, some of them leave early. You know, for me staying there five years and uh, having a great uh, academic advisor, April Brett, she, you know, put out my schedule and said, hey, you you can actually get these two degrees and staying through summer school for three years. You know, I went to uh, school three years straight. You know, no breaks. Summer school every all summer. You know, so got it done. Any significance to the number twenty? You wore twenty four in college, but some guy named Rick Barry has that number. Yeah, a little part of me died when I found out he, uh, that, that number was up in the rafters, you know, but, you know, no better guy to have it, you know, number 24, it's a great number, you know, Kobe switched to it, you know, I, I had 24 since, you know, rec league, you know, so it's been a part of me, but 20, I mean, it seemed to work in Vegas, so I guess I'm going to stick with it. And they, you had seven blocks in the last game, that's ridiculous for a guard. Yeah, you know, it's just all about time, you know, uh, uh, back in my junior season, you know, I got injured the summer of my junior season, but my junior season, I would, you know, have these rundown blocks every game. And my point guard would kind of set it up. You know, he would just run through, and I, you know, it's timing. Uh, it's a heck of a play once you watch it, but I mean, it's actually harder than it actually looks, you know, because you got a guy under you, you got him going up, so you can't foul him. You know, coaches get mad when you, you know, swat the ball out of bounds. Sometimes I try to keep it in play, which is even a bigger play, you know, than them taking it out, we going the other way. Well, hopefully you won't have to use those two degrees and you have a long NBA career. Kent Bazemore, welcome to the Warriors. Yeah, thanks, glad to be here.